Hi guys, today we've got another unboxing today, another set of shoes. This is my last pair of shoes, I hope. So these are the ones that got warranted and replaced the R321s. So these are the S-Fire RC9s. So they're top-end shoe, which is uh, nice to get as a replacement. Retails at 350 These are 46 wide, and in the white colour, it's the only colour I can get in the UK. So it's a bit of a fancier box than what you get on the, all the other shoes from Shimano. Uh, nice... Nice sort of uh, durace almost style to it. But if you get the shoe out here, you'll see that it's not picked up very well on the camera, but it's almost like a pearl effect on the fabric itself. Stiffness 12 on the sole, where the old one was stiffness 10. Twin boa, where the old one was a ratchet system and a semi aero inner. Um, this is going to be my race day only shoe, so time trials and crit racing. I'm not going to use this for training at all, they're a bit too fancy for that, I think. Material would get very grubby very quickly, I feel. Um, but it's got a super stiff style, I'll say there. So, if you look in the box, you've got the usual inserts that you get in with the um, top end Shimano shoes. So, you can bring the arch up on that insole when you need to. And you also get a lovely little instruction manual, as always. And finally, you get almost um, it's like a musette bag for your shoes, which is um, it's very interesting. I've never really had a musette come with my. Uh, my shoes before. Let's have another closer look at the shoes here. So it's a twin um, uh, dial system and it's got the uh, sort of loop around section to make the front of the toe a little bit tighter if you're not getting the what you feel you should have at the front there. It's um, say it's a, more like a pearly white rather than a pure white which is really nice. Um, I'm not too keen on this white sort of underneath with the carbon center. I think it should all just be black carbon under there would be a little bit nicer. Um, but you've got full adjustability forward and backwards on the cleat there, you just have to remove those red tabs, move it back and then reinsert the red tabs where you need. If you look inside the little brochure comes in, it tells you about the dyer, so this is what happens when you let our minds race. It hints of see it being a race shoe. And tells you how the uh, bow system works there. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe, comment, like, etc. And I will catch up with you guys later. And I'll do a review on this soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.